women dealing with menopause, the effects can lead to exhaustion, raging hormones, and hot flashes. But there are ways to reduce those symptoms. Back with us today is the fitness nomad, John Ashworth. And our top five tonight focuses specifically on hot flashes and how to reduce them. Right. A hot topic, I'm sure, for a lot of ladies out there. Right. The first way to minimize hot flashes, you say, is to lose excess weight. Of course. It always comes back to that, doesn't it? Exercising it does, yeah. and losing weight and keeping in shape. And that's because a hot flash is basically the body's attempt to dissipate heat. And the more fat you have, the more insulated you are, so the harder it is for the body to get rid of that heat. So it has to have more hot flashes more often the more fat you have. So incentive to start working out regularly. That's right. There you go. That's Number right. two, stay cool. Staying cool. So along those lines, also keeping the body as cool as possible. There was a small study done with six women, and they had 75% less hot flashes if they stayed in a cooler room. So just keeping the body cool in general will help reduce the incidence of So maybe flashes. take a blanket off your bed or use that as an excuse to run the air conditioning in the summer if you have to. Exactly, or jump in the pool or do whatever you got to do. Go the down lake, the basement. why not? Yeah, that's a good idea, right. actually, basement. Right. Number three, breathe. Breathe, of course. You know, my yoga teacher always says if you're breathing, you're doing yoga, okay? And breathing relaxes the body, and when the body is more relaxed, it can better handle the fluctuations in body temperature. Mm -hmm. So really, the breathing is about allowing you to tolerate the different changes in body temperature more readily than if you weren't. Breathing. So if you find yourself getting a little hyper about this, right. you just n maybe not meditate, but... Deep you breathing. Stop deep breathing. And remember, a good deep breath starts with a long exhalation first. So breathing out all the air all you it. can and then back in. Oh, I feel better already. It does. It feels good doing it. Try it at home. You know, there are some people <laughs> out there doing it right now. Uh, speaking of getting hyper, I just said that. Number right. four is to reduce stress. Reducing stress. And again, this is about the more anxious you are, the more stressed out you are, the less able you are to handle your everyday life, including hot flashes. So what the research shows is that women who manage their stress better are better able again to handle the the hot flashes and they don't feel as intense to them and this all works together because in ways ways to manage stress are to breathe deeply to exercise, exercise right so Take see how this all goes hand in hand that's right uh, the fifth and final point you say try soy right and this is interesting and the thing is that in soy is a chemical called genistein it's an isoflavone which is an antioxidant which has been shown in the research it's it's not proven yet but it shows promising uh, results that if you get 15 or more milligrams of genistein a day in a soy supplement, not necessarily soy food, mm -hmm. that has been shown to reduce hot flashes significantly. So something maybe to check out if the other options aren't working right. for you. And important to point out that 15 milligrams of soy, one glass of soy milk. Okay, That's there it. you go. John, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Very good topic for a lot of ladies out there. And That's if right. you would like to read John's blog on the top five ways to reduce hot flashes during menopause, just log on to our web channel and click on news links.